hello good evening in this video i am going to discuss about the topic motion so to understand it in better way we can take some examples from our daily life routine and i think the most convenient example will be any body or a body can be any car which we see usually like this let me draw first this is car and it is moving in this direction then what we see after some time this car reaches at this position so we are going to study motion so how can we relate the term motion in this situation so this body is here but after some time this which is at this position after covering this distance okay so what is happening actually this body is changing its position from here then to this position and this condition we can call that is motion so finally from this example we can reach to the final definition of motion so how can we define this definition when change occurs change occurs change in what actually in the position of this car or any body change occurs in what position okay so position because it is changing its position and with position the term distance it is covering also so i can relate the term here distance like this distance with respect to time this is time so this is the definition of motion now let's proceed to the types of motion because uh, there are some types of motion and we have to learn to understand the motion in a better way so first one is linear motion this is linear motion now how can we define it let's uh, understand it by taking an example so let's assume any body in air at some height this is any height h from the ground this is height h and uh, it is moving in this direction but we have to remember this body is not moving in this direction or in this direction or in this direction because the most common condition for linear motion is what it will move only in one particular direction so if it uh, is changing any direction so we can't call it linear motion so the exact definition will be uh linear motion linear motion is the motion of an object of an object moving in straight straight line or path we can call okay so this is the definition of linear motion now let's proceed to the second type of motion and the second type of motion is what this is circular motion circular motion 
so to understand the circular motion we can use any example to reach to its final definition so let's take any body like this and i have tied it some thread and i am moving like this and i am moving this thread in this way by using this thread this body is moving in this way okay so the definition we can call it will be like uh, this uh, sorry so this body is like this okay so how this body is moving actually this path it is uh, something like uh, circumference of circle it is moving in this way so the final definition of uh, circular motion will be any body any body which covers which covers its path its path along circumference of circle circumference of of circle so this is the way to understand the circular motion but the exact example i can tell you this is the motion of earth around the sun it is like something it is not exactly circular actually it is some elliptical path but here we are understanding the path of circular motion so we can say that earth is moving in circular path around the sun this is the most common example of circular motion so let's Uh, proceed to the next type of motion and the next type of motion is oscillatory motion oscillatory oscillatory motion so the most common example for this type of motion will be pendulum it is any point of suspension through which we have tied any thread and by using this thread we have joined any mass but the motion of this body will be like this this is the main position of this uh, body and it is moving in this direction first as we apply force in this direction then it came back after a certain interval of time in this direction due then it reaches at this position and again come to this position so this is what this is the oscillatory motion this type of motion is called oscillatory motion and uh, uh, leave it for now the most common example is also swing we can see the uh, the swing at some uh, public places like uh, park also uh, swing is also like this uh, uh, pendulum because the rope of this swing the rope of this swing is like this and uh, as we give force in forward direction it moves in this direction then repeats like this and this this type of path the uh, swing uh, repeats again and again so this this pendulum and this swing both are oscillatory motion so i think uh, uh, an image has been created in your mind about the oscillatory motion now what about the exact definition of oscillatory motion so it can be defined i can write here 
the oscillatory motion is defined defined as as the to and fro motion of the body of the body about mean position mean position in both these cases this is uh, uh, swing in this case this is the mean position because it is oscillating about this position in this direction and again this and finally it will came at rest at this position and same is happening in this type of motion this is the pendulum we considered okay so we have discussed about the uh, types of motion and the exact definition of motion so this topic ends here and at last i want to say thank you for giving me this uh, type of opportunity